Common questions about working out. Mahalaga ba talaga ang mag-warm up? Yes. Always do your warm up before you start any physical activity, especially when you're doing an exercise. May it be a light exercise or a high intensity exercise. Why? Because it's important to prepare not just your heart, but also your joints and your working muscles. So for today, I will be teaching you how to do a basic warm-up. Remember, your warm-up can also vary depending on what exercise you're going to do today and on what is your fitness level. But today, I'll be sharing with you some basic warm-up that most people can do, especially those people without any health conditions or concerns, okay? Let's start. Now, all you need is a space where you can put down or lay down your mat. Stand, feet shoulder width apart, hands in front of you, palms facing your body, bring your elbow up, rotate, and press your arms up. This warms up and mobilizes your shoulder joints. Okay, that's good. Let's just do this for 10 repetitions. Bring your elbows up, rotate, and press up. For some people who have some shoulder pains or have some concerns on their shoulders, mobility issues, um, frozen shoulders, arthritis, any kind of tightness, you might have difficulty doing this movement, but you can still do this. Just go within your range okay just bring your arms up as high as possible keeping your body straight all the time okay that's good bring your elbows up rotate and press last one elbows up rotate and press our next warm-up is hip hinge. I'll be showing you the side view so that you can clearly see the whole movement. Okay, so first stand, feet shoulder width apart. This is our basic standing position. Hands on your side. Bend forward as you push your hips back. Bring your arms up. Again, make sure that your weight is on your heel and you are able to bring your toes up. Okay. Push your hips back, bend forward, arms up. We'll do this for 10 repetitions. That's good. Push your hips back, bring your arms up. That's it. Few more repetitions left. Make sure to keep your back straight. As you bring your arms up, bring your arms towards your ears. If you have tightness on your shoulders, you'll notice that you will not be able to do this movement as accurately. Okay, last two. Last one. Finish. This one is plank crawl with twists. This is a bit difficult for those who haven't done any exercise before. But you can try doing it. Just do it slowly. But for those who have been exercising for quite some time, this is the perfect warm-up for you. Let's start. Stand at the end of your mat. Fit shoulder width apart. Now slowly bend forward while keeping your knees straight. All right. Touch the floor. Bend your knees. Go to plank position. Slowly bring your hips down. Look up. Now bring your hips up, heels down the floor. Big step right and twist. Other side, big step left and twist. Slowly push your body up to stand up. Again, slowly go down. Walk your hands forward. Drop your hips, look up. Hips up, heels down, big step right, and twist. Other side, 
Big step left and twist. Slowly push your body up to stand up. We'll do this one for five times. Again, slowly go down. Walk your hands forward. Drop your hips, look up. Push your hips up, heels down. Big step right, twist. And other side, big step left, twist. That's good. By this time, you can really feel that your heart rate is up and your whole body is warm. We're mobilizing all the joints and muscles around your body. At the same time, while doing this movement, your core is being activated. Okay, that's good. If you're having difficulty doing the exact movement, just try to do it within your range. Last one. Five repetition is usually enough for most people because this is a difficult warm up. Okay, and now slowly push your hips up and slowly stand up. Feel like your body is not yet warm enough, you can still do this additional warm up. This is for those people who are going to do a high intensity exercise or have high fitness level, okay? So first, you stand on a squat position. Feet are slightly wider than your shoulder or shoulder width apart. Arms on your nape, squat down, and twist. Bring your elbow to your knee. Other side, squat and twist. Bring your knee as close as possible to your elbow. Try to do this for 10 pairs. All right. This is our squat movement. If you're also planning to do some back squat or a lot of leg exercises today, this will be perfect to really mobilize your hip joints and prepare your legs for an intense leg exercise. But for those who have just started working out, major intense not for you. By this time, you will feel that you're already catching your breath or this is this feels like the workout itself, but it's fine. Everyone has their own limit. Everyone has their own level. You just have to work within your range. Okay, last three repetitions. All right, last two. Twist, knees to elbow. Last pair. Squat and twist. Okay, just a piece of reminder when you're following the exercises I have given you that these are not for everyone. There are people that will have difficulty doing these exercises or this warm up and will feel like it's already the workout itself. Yes, that's true, depending on your fitness level. Okay? So just make sure that if you try to follow this warm-up, do it within your range. You can do it for lower repetition. You can do it slower. You can do it faster or you can do it on a higher repetition, depending on what your body needs, okay? But general population, adults, kids, I'm sure you'll be able to do this. Just make sure that you don't have any health concerns that may aggravate while doing this movement. Or if you have any health concerns, just try to do it within your range. And if you feel any discomfort, then you have to stop. If you would like me to do other warm up that suits a specific uh, needs, like for example, for people with mobility issues or with tightness all around their body. Yan para sa mga mas mag-edad na at nahihirapan ng sabayan yung ginawa nating warm-up. Just comment down below and I'll make sure to find time and make a warm-up for you. Okay? So just remember to like and subscribe. See you more next time. Bye!